four common forex chart patterns and what they mean. Charts are very important in forex trading as they help you in understanding the market better. Charts have many types of patterns that help you to understand the market even better. The most common types of patterns are head and shoulders popularly known as the H&S pattern. This pattern is a topping formation after an uptrend. It can also be a bottoming formation after a downtrend. The topping pattern is usually a price high, a retracement, a higher price high, retracement, and then a lower low. The bottoming pattern on the other hand is a low, a retracement, a lower low, a retracement, and then a higher low. This pattern is made complete by a trend line that connects the two highs, or two lows. The good thing with this pattern is that it's tradable, as it provides you with an entry level, a stop level, and a profit target. Reversal chart patterns These are chart formations that give you an indication that an ongoing trend is about to change its course. When the reversal pattern forms during an uptrend it gives you a hint that the trend is about to reverse and head down. On the other hand if you see the reversal pattern during a downtrend, it means that the price will later move up. Triangle The triangle pattern is common in short term periods. The pattern can be symmetric, descending and descending. Triangles usually appear when the prices converge when the highs and lows converge into as it has an entry, stop, and profit target. The entry is the point where the triangle is penetrated, the stop is the low of the pattern, while the profit target is where the height of the pattern and entry price add up. Continuation pattern also known as consolidation pattern, this pattern shows you how the buyers and sellers are taking a quick break before they continue trading in the same direction. There are many types of continuation chart patterns such as wedges, pennants and rectangles. To make money using this pattern you only need to place an order above or below the formation and then go for a target that is the size of the chart pattern. Conclusion These are the sum of the common chart patterns in Forex trade. By keenly following the patterns you will never go wrong. To master how the patterns work it's highly recommended that you read as much as you can about them.